I offer group consultations, private consultations, and technical info of how to crypto wallet staking, airdrops, NFTs, etc. I have a website where you can schedule a free 15-minute crypto discovery session with myself. I will call you, we'll discuss crypto topics, and see how I can help you moving forward or just answer your questions that you might have. Link is in the description below for my website and email and for Patreon. Okay, so you're just going to open up your MetaMask wallet and click on this drop down and add network. To add a network, you need a network name, RPC, URL, chain ID, currency symbol. This article has all my information, or you could just go to MetaMask's website. I'll leave the link below, below for that. Enter the network name, which is Finance Smart Chain. RPC URL is as follows. I will copy and paste it. You can type it out or copy and paste. Add a chain ID, which is number 56. And the currency symbol is BNB. I already have this in my wallet, so I'm not going to save it. And that's why it says this chain ID is currently used by the BCC mainnet. So then you're just gonna press save and that's it. You've added your Binance chain to your wallet. Next, we're coming over to BSC scan. Is any token now you wanna add into your wallet on the Binance smart chain, you need the contract number, the decimal points to add that into your MetaMask wallet. I'll go to bscscan.com. Again, if it's on the Binance smart chain, go here. The token's on the Ethereum chain, you go to the Ethereum scan, and the same is true for other networks. You type in your token. Oh, well, it's already open, so you just type in the token and click on it. I'm gonna copy the contract address before I open MetaMask, because when I open it, it's gonna cover that. And then just go to the bottom and say import tokens. When you're importing a token, into your wallet, make sure you're on the right chain. I'm on Binance Smart Chain. Okay, paste the contract address. And when you do that, it should populate with the correct token and decimals if you have the correct contract. If not, that won't populate, and I would suggest you go double check that you have the correct contract number and add, and that's it, and save. If I had BFG, it would show how many BFG I had. Bet Fury Farming. You do not have to be logged in to do this. You just have to go to betfury.io. Leave a link in the description. Bet Fury Earn and click on Farming. Farming's taking you to a different page outside of your Bet Fury account. That's why you don't have to be signed in. Okay, so we come to this page and you'll see the active farming pools, which is just one. I'm going to connect my wallet. By connecting my wallet, I'm connecting this website to my wallet so it has access to it so we can make transactions. I click on the correct wallet I want to connect. And that's it. So if I had some BFG, it would show it here and then I would click on approve BFG. Now you're just approving your BFG able for staking. I would press uh, confirm, but I don't have enough BNB token for gas. Make sure you have BNB in there to cover your gas fees. Every time you compound harvest or approve any BFG for staking, you're gonna pay a BNB gas fee. So I would keep about $5 in BNB on your wallet. If I earn any BFG, I would have the option to harvest or compound. Compound is when you taking that BFG, you're adding it to your staked BFG. Harvesting takes the amount of BFG earned and just puts it right into your wallet. It doesn't go towards the staking. Now, when you wanna unstake from this pool, all I believe you have to click on is harvest and it takes it out and puts it in your wallet and that's it and you're done. I hope this was helpful. Again, I am a crypto consultant so if you do need help with this or any other type of crypto troubleshooting, I do private consultations. Go through Patreon, you can email me or you can go through my website for the free 15 minute crypto discovery session. Questions, concerns, anything that you have and I can help you. Have a great day guys. I'll see you soon.